Hallelujah. We give God the glory. What an awesome master Jesus. This is another day he has given us a breath for the people around the whole world. May his name be adored. Beloved, let us pray. Immortal everlasting father, you alone is worthy to be praised. Among the gods, who is like unto thee, there is none. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Jehovah. Your name is Redeemer, the one who knows us. Mighty, immortal, everlasting God, we give you all the glory this morning for giving us a breath around the whole world. The Father, you are a good Father. You alone is worthy to be praised. So this morning, we will praise you. We will adore you. We will magnify you. You are everlasting God. Take all your glory. Take all your honor. Because you share your glory with no man. Oh, unto thee, O oh Lord, we thank you for giving us a breath. Father, I am a, a clay. Spirit of the living God, speak through me and let your word come forth so that we will hear your word. As you said, all things shall pass away, but your word will never pass away. So we thank you for this morning that the word you are about to give it to us. Father, we thank you. Father, we adore you. Father, we magnify you. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for another day like this. It is by his mercy that we are still alive. Beloved, let us hear the word of God. The title of the message is, Thanks God Command. Thanks God Command. And without wasting time, let us read the scripture. That is Mecca 6. And the verse is eight. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. He has shown you, oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do the just, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Beloved, this is God telling us that we should do what is good. And the Lord requires from you and I. Beloved, we know what is good and what is bad. The Lord should be first in our life. And we belong to him. We must do whatever he wants us to do. We have to do things that will please him. Nothing pleases God as he is so holy. We have to live a holy life. Hallelujah. Our Lord let us know from his word what is good and what is bad. So it is a choice to look. It is a choice to see and to choose and to do the right thing. He acquired you and I. This is the time that things has to be changed and to do the right thing. Our Lord wants us, number one, sanctification. Sanctify us, oh Lord. From what? From our sin. God hates sin. Two, he wants a pure heart. Hallelujah. 
Our God is so merciful. He need a pure heart. So beloved, have you checked your heart? Is your heart pure before God? Oh, this morning, he is telling us he need a pure heart. Hallelujah. What a master. What a king. What a Lord. He knows us. He requires good things from us. He hates evil. Hallelujah. We continue. Our next scripture is Psalm 24 and the verses 4. Let us hear the word of God. He who has a clean hands and a pure heart, he who has not, he who has not lifted up his soul to an adult, he who has not, or swear deceitfully, he is telling us that he need a pure heart. Our God is a jealous God. He doesn't want us to serve the adult. The adult belongs to who? The, the adults. The adult. It belongs to Satan and his demons. So God is telling us, our God knows our heart. He created us. He knows us, our inside and our outside. As he is holy, he wants the heart to be pure from sin. It is not ourselves because we belong to him. We have to trust the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. We continue. Our next scripture is Mark and the verse, Mark 12, verse 30 and 31. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. And this is by our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of life, the one who knows you, the one who controls everything belongs to him. Let us hear his word. Mark 12 and the verse is 30. And this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Teddy, this is the first commandment. 31, and the second, like this. It is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Hallelujah. Our Lord is telling us to love him with our hearts, with our soul, with our mind, with our strength. And the second one, to love our neighbor as ourselves. Beloved, have you thought about this? Because this is the greatest commandment that he wants you and I to follow. So he is asking you this morning that have you loved your neighbor? Though you love me, but what about your neighbor? The neighbor that you see, do you love him? Do you tell him about the gospel? Do you evangelize? Do you witness to him or her? He is telling you that we should, you and I, should love our neighbor. Oh, what a master, what a king, what a lord, the owner of our love. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is telling us that we have to obey. This is his commandment. Christ died for you and I while we were yet sinners. So beloved, whatever God say, we have to do it. We have to honor him. Hallelujah. He is in control. Oh, what a greatest love that he gave to mankind, that he gave his precious blood so that you and I 
will be saved. It is the greatest gift for mankind. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us the greatest gift. Hallelujah. What a master we serve. What a king we glorify. Oh, we need to be sanctified. Put ourselves aside for the master because he is in control. Beloved, let us continue. We give God the glory. Our next scripture is Mark 10 and the verse is 19. Let us hear him. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. You know the commandment. Do not, do not commit adultery. Do not commit murder. Do not steal. Do not bear witness, false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. Hallelujah. God is telling us that we shouldn't do these things. We should obey his commandment. We should not murder. We should not steal. We should not bear a false witness. And we should not commit adultery. Beloved, we shouldn't do this. These are the things that God hates. They are sinful. With this, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So this morning, our God is telling us all these, what he mentioned, is an abomination unto him. Beloved, let us do what God doesn't want. We shouldn't do. We should do what God wants. To love one another. To run away from sin. Sin separates us from the almighty Jehovah. Oh, what a master. Whatever he is telling us, let us obey and be obedient to our Lord. We shouldn't do anything that will hinder our soul. Hallelujah. We should be good as he wants us to be good. We know the right thing and we know the good thing. Why do we have to fornicate? Why do we have to do robbery? Why do we have to murder? All this is abomination unto our Lord, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us continue. First Samuel and the verses 15. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 to 23. Let's hear the word of God. Has the Lord as a great delight in a burnt offering and sacrifice, as in obe obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to bear is better than sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of the ram. 23. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is iniquity and adultery, because you have rejected the word of the Lord. He also rejects you from being a king. Beloved, when you are rejected, my question is, where are you going? Rejected by God. That means you don't have anywhere to turn around. God is in control. He is our shepherd. He shepherd us. Our God is our king. Our God is our master. Beloved in Christ, we have to please our Lord. As he has called us, so all things belong to him. 
The Spirit of God can help us to run away from our sin. As the Holy Spirit is our guide, whatever we ask, whatever we seek, whatever we know, oh, the Spirit of God will direct us our path to do the right thing. Our God is a merciful God. It is a matter to loving God and to do his will and to please him. Hallelujah. Oh, what a master. What a king of kings. Everlasting to everlasting God. We continue with Joshua and the verses Joshua 1.8. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. This is the book of the law. Shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you shall have a good success. This is our God talking to Joshua. Moses is dead, so Joshua is in charge. And the almighty God, the creator of the universe, the king of kings, he was talking to his servant, Joshua. He said, do not depart from the book of the law. What is the law? It is the book that he has to meditate and the book, the Bible, that every day he has to fellowship. So beloved, if God is telling us this, why should we not obey? Why should we not follow the instruction of Almighty God? Beloved in Christ, our God is so unique. He was telling his servant, which is Joshua, and Joshua, Follow God. Joshua was the one who took the Israelites to the promised land. So almighty God, whatever he say, he is faithful. We have to follow. Hallelujah. We have to obey. It is the same thing like you and I. It is daily that we have to follow fellowship with our master because he knows us. He is able to do it and suddenly, abundantly, as the Holy Spirit is our guide, he will help us to read the word of God with understanding and the mystery in the word of God. Holy Spirit, we thank you. You are our teacher. The best teacher is you. Take all your glory. Hallelujah. Beloved, we thank the Lord because this is what he wants us. It is his commandment that we have to love one another and love him. So all these are things God wants us, the things God commands us to do. So this morning, are you willing to obey whatever God is telling us through the scriptures that he has given to us? Oh, mighty Jehovah, we will follow, we will obey. It is you alone that we need. We need a word to strengthen us, to comfort us. We give you all the glory. May your name be exalted. May your name be praised unto you, O Lord. With you, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, this is another day that may you bless your end time prophet, the one that you have ordained to carry the message so that people will hear the message and they will be saved. Master Jesus, we thank you for your prophet and may you protect him and his family, and also the viewers that listen to him. May their heart desire be met. Father, we thank you for the word that you have given to us this morning. Oh, may you be glorified. Unto thee, O oh Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come. We thank you. Amen.